anybody's a good citizen, they should be following what those guys in the capital are doing. People don't understand what the ethanol does. It's not good for the engines. So we're here to protest that. My name's Bill Byrne, from New York City. Member of Rolling Thunder, Chapter 1, Brooklyn. Pretty much, I'll do anything to get on two wheels. And what they're gonna try and do is push up the ethanol content in the gasoline to 15%. And that'll hurt my two wheels. Well, I have enough corn in my gas tank as it is, but I figured for this ride I'd add a little more corn in there. <laughs> The ethanol basically is, has been a bane of my existence here lately. It's everything, your lawnmower, your weed whacker, your boat, everything. As an antique car enthusiast, we're very concerned because the ethanol uh, does damage to our antique vehicles. They're not made to run on it. We're afraid that they won't even be drivable if we increase up to 15%. Manufacturers of motorcycles, manufacturers of a lot of small engines, they do not have the warranties. Uh, for using E15. So if you accidentally happen to put E15 in your motorcycle gas tank, for example, the warranty goes away. Since they've been putting ethanol in the gas tanks, um, mixing it with the fuel, uh, I've lost at least 10 miles per gallon. The message to send to Congress is should listen to us. We don't want this. Back off uh, the Environmental Protection Agency. Congress needs to have more oversight over the EPA. I think they need to rein them in. Let's first do the analysis that needs to be done so that we're assured that it's not going to damage our engines. Please reconsider this, this increase in the amount of ethanol that's going into gasoline.